problems that I had in the past. It's just a snowstorm in my head. You feel dark, the, the clouds are heavy, you don't know what you're going to do. And you're not sure where you're going. And then, and then you get a lighthouse. I've got a clear head now and I'm able to see things a little bit better. And then that's when I decided, yeah, I could, I could be a mum. I could love somebody. And I don't think I would have achieved any of that without, without Phil. The pregnancy has been wonderful. Dancing in the meadows. It's been glorious. I felt like a flower in the breeze. Oh, I hate being pregnant. Is this the last one, Chantal? Yes. We're not doing any more. No. Chantal, what are you allergic to, sweetheart? Penicillin. Penicillin. And, and penises. Penicillin and penises? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have a lot of fun together. We don't take things too seriously. <laughs> She's a constant source of entertainment for me. I found Phil in a store cupboard. He had to train me to take over his job in a news agent's. Quite cold. Me. <laughs> me, I'm quite cold. <laughs> she was being very flirtatious, squeezing past me behind the counter. Oh, can I just get past there? Oh, excuse That's me. That's a spy! Late, sluggish. Snaily. Snaily. Mm. <laughs> And within 10 minutes, she turned around to me and she said, well, are you going to ask me out then or not? I think a bit differently. Mm. There's nothing wrong with that. I absolutely love the way her mind works. It's completely different to anybody else's. <laughs> She's brilliant. <coughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I think a baby fell out. <laughs> oh! I'm the fun, bubbly, jokey one <laughs> that hides everything. If you're fun and jokey, then people tend not to ask you questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got baggage. He's come with, like, you know, a rucksack. And I've got a 12-piece luggage set. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Okay. All right, guys. See you in a bit. <laughs> oh, that's almost had that little baby. Oh. Hello, baby. Welcome to the world. It's a bit poopy, but your mummy's could also help. I don't think there's an easy way to explain my childhood. My parents, who were 14 and 15, they didn't stay together. From the day that I was born, um, I don't think I was wanted, not by my father, but by my mother. What's the pain like after the C-section? A sharp pulling pain. Yeah. Yeah, like someone's just sliced through eight layers of your skin. <clears throat> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> she just was the most horrendous mother ever. Is the pain afterwards, like, worse than the pregnancy pain? The pregnancy pain's a different pain. It's in my groin. It's painful. It's like a sharp pain and then a dull ache. And you felt him kick. It's not funny. By the time that I was one, there was a lot of physical abuse. And I think she just took her anger out on me. <sighs> Not long to go now. I don't want to shut up with that. <sighs> it's not funny. Every like minute's like an hour. And it's just horrible. I oh, know. Do you still be throw up? That's not nice. Not every day. No. For months and months. My childhood was very much about just remembering to keep out of her way and making sure that I wasn't seen or heard, and I didn't speak unless I was spoken to. 
and even then it was probably the wrong thing to say. So just wanting to be invisible. I was 16 when I decided I didn't want to be part of it anymore. So I packed a bag and left and never looked back. Just thinking, you know, mm. the boys. Mm. They haven't got a grandma. Mm. 30 years from now, when they're getting married and starting their own family, I'm going to be that grandma. A snuggly, big old boobed grandma. You know, the one that just like squashes you in her bosom. In the long run, she's lost out because I'm not her daughter. And she's got three grandbabies that she doesn't have anything to do with, so that's her loss. They come to grandma's house and have buttons and cake and Lots of fun. And on their birthday, our boys and their wives be like, oh, yeah, we're just getting him a few little things. And I'll be like, look what I bought. 20-foot ball pool, inflatable in the garden. <gasps> Isn't it amazing? <laughs> and they'd be like, that. cool, Grandma. And they'd be like, yeah. I want to be that Grandma. Mm. Many years away, yeah. You always want to be something that you've not got, don't you? My upbringing meant that I never really wanted to have a family. I never thought that I would ever have a stable home. Just the thought of being in a relationship with somebody. Would they want to be in a relationship with me? <sighs> Do you want to feel him? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no. oh, yeah, there we go. Ah. <laughs> yeah, must come out. When we first met, she was obviously in a bad mental state. Chantal always thought that I wouldn't stick around, that I would sort of abandon her. For me, it wasn't ever a question. When you love somebody, you don't worry about that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready. He's definitely ready. I can't believe he's coming. <sighs> One of the main things that drives her is not wanting to repeat the past. It's taken a great deal of courage for her. OK, a spinal rub. Yep. Please. Over time, as our relationship has grown, our trust has grown. I've helped her. I've offered advice and support. Mm. Mm -mm. Ow, 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 ow. All the problems that I had in the past, it's just a snowstorm in my head. You feel dark, the, the clouds are heavy, you don't know what you're going to do, and you're not sure where you're going. And then... And then you get a lighthouse. <laughs> ah, it's nice, isn't it? Quiet room, no kids. Just me and you. It's like the olden days, before children. Yeah, and we had to have them because it was boring. Kiss, <laughs> kiss. <laughs> the lighthouse keeps you off the rocks. I've got a clear head now and I'm able to see things a little bit better. And then that's when I decided, yeah, I could, I could be a mum. I could love somebody. And I don't think I would have achieved any of that without without Phil. Oh. What a whopper. <laughs> Say hello, Mummy. Hello, Daddy. Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Okay. There you go. He's gorgeous. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. <laughs> He makes the stuff on noise. <laughs> he makes the stuff on noise. Up. Yes. What's the look like? It's beautiful. <laughs> Our boys are everything now. 
Hello, gorgeous. It's one of the main things that drives her. She wants to make sure that our boys have a good life. It's one of the things that I, I really admire about her. I oh, know, he's got my shoulders. Oh, no. <laughs> things that have happened in the past, they're in the past, but they've made me who I am today. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Oh, you are lovely. It's beautiful. <laughs> Considering the fact that you're you and I'm me, we've done quite well. That's true. I don't think our boys need therapy yet. <laughs> <sighs> you did it. You did it again. You've grown a huge, beautiful human.